The month of Deborah is a symbolic call to both women and men to step into their God-given leadership roles and confront challenges with courage and boldness, drawing inspiration from Deborah, the prophetess and judge in the book of Judges. The mantle of Deborah, I mean, when people hear Deborah, it's very easy to think it's all about women. Um, but like I mentioned before, Deborah did not fulfill the mandate herself. Deborah partnered with a host of men. So it started with one man, Barak, but then she partnered with the thousands of male army in Israel. Um, so the mantle of Deborah, yes, empowers women to arise, but the mantle of Deborah has room for men. So it's not just about women. Men are invited. Deborah never fulfills the mission on her own. She needs the mighty men to get the job done. This apostolic and prophetic conference seeks to empower women as leaders and influencers in society, fostering their confidence in taking on life's challenges. Africa is dependent on so much that is going to happen in Uganda in this season. Therefore, open your heart. Don't just come like you're coming to a fellowship. Come like a Ugandan. Come like a Deborah. Come like a Jael. Come like a Barak and receive your portion and let us run. Because Uganda, it's time that you, re you, you, you arose to your position in Africa. Uh, for the time that Apostle has been coming, many people, including myself, we have come to realize that there is a purpose and we must arise. It is time, it's time to arise, it is time to take part, it is time to be part of this nation's development. The future of Uganda depends on each and every one of us. The vision bearer Apostle Isi Genegba, who has already jetted into the country, emphasizes that this is an ordinary conference gathering. Um, at tomorrow's mantle of Deborah, the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of prophecy, um, is going to be calling forth, anointing and commissioning people um, that God will use to lead certain sectors in this land. The next kind of people that you know God will usually cause to arise when it is time are the watchers. I believe that in this season, God is raising different categories of watchers over this nation. Um, those that will watch upon the walls of spirituality, but also watch upon the walls of economics, watch upon the walls of government, watch upon the walls of security. In the different areas of the nation, God is raising watchers that will bear a burden and a sense of responsibility for the building of the land. The Macquarie University Freedom Grounds, for those of you who will be joining us from different nations, Macquarie University is the oldest university here in Uganda. It's about a hundred years old. And it, at this university is where degrees of the highest are conferred, PhDs, masters. But tomorrow, yeah. beyond Come. ink on paper, yes. the blood of Jesus Amen. is going to cover that place. Amen. Transitioning, shifting, as the apostolic and prophetic mandate is being declared upon the nation of Uganda. At least 200,000 young people will benefit from the cybersecurity and IT training program set to be launched during this month of Deborah conference. Cybersecurity training for up, up to about 200,000 people are going to be trained in cybersecurity. That's where the world is going. We are going to call upon young people who are ready to take this on to begin to approach us so that we can register them. It will be formally launched. We are launching it tomorrow, but there will be a bigger launch in May. The conference will also extend to Mbara, where another session is set to take place at Holy Spirit Fire Church. Crispus, Arinitwe, UBS News.